are going to read the story Wolf in the Snow and this is by Matthew Cordell. So let's open up our books and begin. So we open up the first page and we see a window. It looks like there's a dad in yellow, a mom in green, there's the dog, and a girl who's wearing red. A family is inside on a snowy day. But then the girl has to leave. Bark, bark, bark. That's how her dog says goodbye. <gasps> Bye, she waves. So the girl is walking along in the snow. jackets, pink and turquoise and orange. So she's on her way home. But while our friend is walking, the pack of wolves are walking too. It is so cold that you see their breaths in the air. When it's so cold outside, you can go like this see your breath in the air. Does it look like the snow is getting heavier? <gasps> look at her girl, she's walking and the snow is coming down. She needs to push against it. And the snow grows even heavier. It's turning into a blizzard. The four wolves are pushing through the snow. Who's that at the back? The baby wolf? Trying to push, push through the snow. The snow is getting heavier and the girl she's trying to push and the little wolf pup too, right? The baby wolf, the wolf pup is trying to push. And then the two meet. The girl's walking through the trees. She's so cold. And the baby wolf is walking through the trees and goes, why? And the two see each other. The girl can tell the wolf pup is probably cold and tired. So she holds out her arms and the wolf pup goes, whine, whine, whine. Right? So she holds out her mittens. Maybe she wants to help the pup. But is the pup scared of her? Look at the pup. The pup is like, mm -hmm, and tries to run away. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But the snow is so deep and it's so soft that as the wolf runs, it goes, crunch, 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 crunch. Sink. Mine, mine. <laughs> so it sinks in the snow. So the girl, she pulls the pup out of the snow. And the pup makes a little sound. Oh! Mm -hmm. The girl thinks. And far, far away, she hears a sound in the distance. She walks such a distance. Crunch, 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 crunch. Through the snow, she's going to take the pup back to its family. It's a long way though, right? You see her long trail of footprints in the snow. Oh! So the girl, she crosses a river. What, 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 what? Don't slip! Oh my gosh, you wouldn't want to fall in the icy water. Crunch, 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 crunch. <gasps> she holds a stick. The pup is in one arm. The stick is in another. Because <sighs> there's an angry raccoon. Crunch, 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 crunch. Screech! <gasps> Do you see the 
bird? That's an owl in a tree. The girl. She's so scared she doesn't know what's making these sounds. The girl is still holding the puck. They're walking through the snow. Oh! Walking and she's walking and then <gasps> who do you think came? That could probably maybe that's the mom, right? The baby wolf's mom. The girl looks. The girl's like. <gasps> so deep the pup goes <laughs> sinks in the snow the mom goes <laughs> and brings the wolf pup away so that's how wolves they can carry their young right they can hold them um, by the fur at the back of their necks that's not how our moms carry us. That would not, that would hurt a lot. But for wolves, it's okay. Um, it doesn't hurt them. It's just how they can carry their young. Because wolves, they can't pick each other up, right? So the girl is like, <gasps> she did a good job. She she brought the baby wolf home. But she's probably, she's probably really scared of the big wolf. And She's probably exhausted. She's walked such a long way. So the pack of five wolves gather together and our girl, she needs to return now. Rush, 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 rush. Can you imagine yourself in the snow? <gasps> oh, I need to go home. Long trail of footprints once again. But there's a problem. It's getting darker. The girl looks, she hears her dog. Bark, 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 bark. She sees two lights up in the sky. Maybe those are flashlights. Her family must be looking for her. So she goes into the snow. The lights are in the distance. She's trying to go home, but she slips. She is so exhausted. She falls in the center of some trees. They get closer and closer and closer. What are they gonna do? <gasps> they surround her and they, they realize that the girl's family is looking for her. Look, look at the wolf pup. Licks the girl because the girl is shivering. <laughs> She's so cold. So what do the wolves do? The wolves, they make a sound together. Oh! They howl into the night, hoping to make lots of noise so the girl's parents know where she is. Do you see the flashlight? I think her parents are getting closer. Bark, bark. Right, I think the parents, um, her dog is getting closer as well. And then, this is the trees. Her dad wearing the green is there. Her dog is there too. The girl is like, oh. So they found the girl. They shine a flashlight up the slope and they see the wolves. Oh. Look. The girl and her dad, they will see the wolves and they run down the slope.
there's someone in a yellow jacket that might be the mom, right? They run, 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 run through the night. Oh, and they get home. Look, the dad and the mom and the girl are sitting together on their carpet. Maybe they're drinking some hot cocoa. The fire is burning behind them. Their jackets, the yellow, green, and red jacket is hanging up. Oof. Everybody is relaxing now at home. So everyone is safe. The wolf pup is with her family and our little girl is with her family. And that's the end. So this book's name is called Wolf in the Snow. And this was by Matthew Cordell. Mm -hmm.